क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इफ द सम ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ देयर रेसी प्रोकल्स देन बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए सी प्लस बी सी अपॉन ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ऑप्शन आर टू माइनस टू वन माइनस वन सी द इक्वेशन इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो विच इज द स्टैंडर्ड क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन सम ऑफ द रूट इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ देयर रेसी प्रोकल्स सो लेट अस से एल्फा एंड बीटा आर द टू रूट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन we have been given here that the alpha plus beta is equal to 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon beta square sum of the squares of their reciprocals reciprocal of alpha is 1 upon alpha square is 1 upon alpha square reciprocal of another root beta is 1 upon beta square is 1 upon beta square and this is the sum of the squares of the reciprocal and this is the sum of the roots simplify this so alpha plus beta is equal to alpha square beta square is the lcm here it will be alpha square plus beta square it should be beta square plus alpha square which is equal to alpha square plus beta square now we know That if the equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, then alpha plus beta is given by minus b upon a, and alpha beta is c upon a. This is our standard formula that the sum of the root is minus b upon a, product of the root is c upon a. Put these values here. So this gives us minus b upon a is equal to now alpha square plus beta square we know can be written as alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta as we did in the previous question and this will be equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times alpha beta so here alpha plus beta square i can write minus b upon a whole square minus 2 times alpha beta is c upon a. upon 2 alpha square beta square means c upon a whole square now i have got the equation in terms of a b and c simplify this so this implies minus b upon a equal to minus b upon a whole square is b square upon a square minus 2 times c upon a upon c square upon a square cross multiply so this gives us minus b upon a into c square upon a square equal to a square will be the lcm here it will be b square minus 2 ac a square And a square are cancelled. Again, cross multiply. This gives us minus b c square is equal to a b square minus two a square c. Transpose it. So this gives us two a square c is equal to a b square plus b c square. We have brought this two. A C square here, so it has become positive. B C square gone there, so it has become positive. Now A C square, A square C is here. If I divide the whole equation by A square C, I obtain two is equal to A B square upon A square C plus B C square upon A square C. Simplify this, so this gives us. Now a cancels this square, so b square upon a c plus c cancels this square, b c upon a square is equal to two. So 
we have obtained b square upon ac plus bc upon a square as equal to 2. So here option A is the correct option. Question number 6. The equation x square minus p plus 4 into x plus 2p plus 5 is equal to 0 has equal roots. The values of p will be plus minus 1, 2, plus minus 2 or minus 2. See, any equation if it is having roots as equal roots, then its then its discriminant is equal to zero. And if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, then b square minus 4ac that is its discriminant this is equal to zero. Now the equation is this means a is one, b is minus p plus four, and c is 2p plus 5. So, discriminant is equal to 0 means minus p plus 4 whole square minus 4 times 1 into 2p plus 5. This is equal to 0. Simplify this. So, minus square is positive. It is p plus 4 whole square, which is p square plus 8p plus 16. We have expanded it using the formula a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 4 into 2p is 8p minus 4 into 5 is equal to 20. This is equal to 0. Simplify this. This is cancelled. So, p square minus 4 is equal to 0, which gives us p square is equal to 4, that is p is equal to plus minus 2. If we take the under root both the sides, it will be plus minus 2 values will be there. So, value of p will be plus minus 2 and hence option c here is the correct option. Question number 7. The roots of the equation x square plus 2p minus 1 into x plus p square is equal to 0 are real if. These are the four options given to us. Now, we know if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and its roots are real roots, then its discriminant b square minus 4ac should be greater than or equal to 0. This is the condition for roots to, roots to be real roots. Here the equation is this. Here A is 1. B is this value 2P minus 1. C is P square. So here 2P minus 1 whole square minus 4 into 1 into P square should be greater than or equal to 0. Discriminant is greater than or equal to c. Simplify this. It is. It can be expanded using the formula a minus b whole square. So it will be 4p square minus 4p plus 1 minus 4p square greater than or equal to 0. 4p square and minus 4p square are cancelled. Transpose this, so 1 should be greater than or equal to 4p, which is 1 upon 4 is greater than or equal to p. 1 upon 4 is greater than or equal to p, means p is less than or equal to 1 upon 4. So here, option D is the correct answer. Now we will see question number 8. If x is equal to m is one of the solutions of the equation 2x square plus 5x minus m is equal to 0, the possible values of m are, and these are the options given to us. Now we put x is equal to m in the given equation. So 2m square plus 5m minus m is equal to 0. Equation reduces to this equation. 
Now we can find the value of m from this. So this implies 2m square plus 4m is equal to 0. 2m can be taken common. We obtain m plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now either m is equal to 0 or m plus 2 is equal to 0. This gives us two values of m which are m is equal to 0 and if m plus 2 is equal to 0 we obtain m is equal to minus 2. So here option B is the correct option. Question number 9. If P and Q are the roots of equation x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 then the value of P square plus Q square becomes options are 2 minus 2 4 or minus 4 x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. This is the given equation. We can find the values of p and q because they are the roots of this equation. This equation can be written x plus 1 whole square is equal to 0 because we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is the formula. So this equation can be written in this form x square plus 2x plus 1 can be written as x plus 1 whole square. This gives us two values of x which are x is equal to 1 minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1. That is p and q. p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to minus 1. Now we can put these values here. So p square plus q square becomes minus 1 square plus minus 1 square that is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and hence option A here is the correct answer. Now another way to attempt this question can be since P and Q are the roots of the equation x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so P plus Q that is sum of the root we know of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 sum of the root alpha plus beta is minus b upon a so here p plus q will be equal to minus 2 and product of the root that is alpha beta is c upon a that is 1 upon 1 which is equal to 1. Now we want p square plus q square. So p square plus q square can be written first we will add 2pq and then we will subtract 2pq. So it will be p square plus q square plus 2pq minus 2pq. We can write it in this manner. So this becomes p plus q whole square minus 2pq. This becomes p plus q is minus 2. So it is minus 2 square minus 2 times pq is 1. We obtain 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. So that way also we can find the value of p square plus q square. Question number 10. If L plus M plus N is equal to 0 and L, M, N are rationals, the roots of the equation, one equation is given, are, options are, that is, we are to find the nature of the roots. Now we have been given L plus M plus N is equal to 0. L plus M plus n is equal to z. So the equation can, can be written as m plus n we can write m plus n equal to minus n. So here I can write minus l. The so equation becomes minus 2l into x square. In place of m plus n I have written minus l. Again n plus l so n plus l is equal to n plus l is equal to minus m. So I can write l plus l minus m. It will be plus 2 uh, minus 2 m into x. Again l plus m is there and I can write l plus m equal to minus m. So this can be written plus minus 2n is equal to 0. Equation can be written like this. Now minus 2 is there in every term. So I can divide 
each uh, each term so i can divide the whole equation by minus 2 so divide the equation by minus 2 equation becomes lx square plus mx plus n is equal to 0 equation becomes like this now i am to find the nature of the roots of this equation which can be found by calculating the discriminant now we know ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if this is the equation then discriminant is b square minus 4ac this is our discriminant d so here d will be equal to m square minus 4 times l into m this is our discriminant now m can be written from this equation minus l plus n it can be written like this so discriminant becomes minus l plus n whole square minus 4 times l into n simplify this minus square will become positive so b is equal to l square plus 2 ln plus n square minus 4 ln minus square has become positive l plus n whole square is l square plus 2 ln plus n square minus 4 ln this can be written l square minus 2 ln plus n square minus 4 ln and plus 2 ln is minus 2 ln this is equal to l minus n whole square now it is a perfect square what we have obtained is a perfect square and we know that if discriminant is perfect square then roots are real and rational also it is given that l m n are rationals that is a b c of quadratic equation if they are rational and b square minus 4 ac discriminant is a perfect square then the roots of the equation are real and rational roots so here option b is correct roots of equation are real and rational